Today we will be making this realistic looking Batman Batarang using Blender. I will be covering modeling, texturing and UV unwrapping as well. Now if you have just started Blender, do not worry. After following along this video, you will end up making this realistic Batarang. Let's go! First of all, we have to get some reference to start with. Now you can search the Google and get multiple references, but I am going to use this one. Link in description. You can save it from there. Alright, go to the front view and add in this image as a reference. Now let's model this thing. I will be using just one cube to model this, so add in a cube. Go to the wireframe preview to see the reference we have. Scale this cube on x-axis. Scale it on the z-axis as well. Now press Ctrl R and add one loop cut in the middle. Select the left vertices and delete them. This is because we will be modeling only right side since both sides are the same. Then we will use a mirror modifier. Add a dozen loop cuts right here. Turn on proportional editing and change the fall off to sphere. Select the first few vertices and move them up. You can use mouse wheel to change the radius. Perfect. Disable proportional editing. Select these vertices and move them down to this point. These bottom vertices are a little out of alignment, so let's fix them. Just move them down. Select this edge. Double press G and move it to this position. Select these and move them down. Move these vertices down. Try to match them with the reference we have. We need more loop cuts, so don't hesitate to add them. Add one here. Add one here. I guess we need one here as well. It is already looking great. Now let's model the ear. For that, select this face. Click E to extrude it out. Select these four vertices and match them with the ear. Amazing! Now let's model this portion right here. Add a loop cut at this position. Select this face and extrude it out. Now add a bunch of loop cuts right here. Enable proportional editing again. Select the first few vertices and move them up. Turn off proportional editing and try to match up these vertices manually because at this point proportional editing might rim the upper vertices. This one looks a bit too sharp and odd. 
So select this edge and move it to the left by double pressing G. The right side is done. If you got this far, congratulations. The hard work is done. Go to the modifiers tab and add in a mirror modifier. Check clipping. You can see this looks really bad and low poly. Right click and choose shade smooth. This looks even worse now, which is basically a shading problem. Go to the object data properties panel and check auto smooth. Perfection. Now the batarang is ready, but it's ridiculously thick. Just scale it down on the Y axis. Delete the reference, it's annoying me. Now go and apply the modifier. Maybe rename it. Go to the shading tab and add in a new material to your batarang. Let's use Cycles Rendering Engine. I'm using a black metal texture for this. Link in description. Once you download and extract the textures, delete these things. Also delete the DX version of normal map. Blender uses GL version. Select and drag in the color map. Connect it to the base color. Drag in metalness map now. Connect it to metallic. Change the color space from RGB to non-color. Now drag in the roughness map. Change it to non-color as well. Connect it to the roughness slot. Drag in the normal map. Change it to known color as well. Shift A and add a normal map node. Connect it to the normal slot. Connect the color to the color of the normal map node. Go to the UV editing tab. If you don't know a thing about UV and wrapping, you should watch a high quality tutorials about it. But right now, it's okay. You can follow along. Press A to select all, press U and select Q projection. It's done! Now that you have your own 3D better and go and show to your friends and family. And when they ask where did you learn making such a thing, share my tutorial with them. Like this video and subscribe for more modeling and problem solving Blender tutorials. See you in my next high quality tutorial. Goodbye.